say, I cannot spend the rest, I cannot wait to spend the rest of our lives together. You are the most beautiful in my eyes. Please know that you will remain that way. We've shared so many laughs and so many smiles in our time together, and it has only just begun. I cannot wait for you to be my wife. <laughs> I promise to continue to be your best friend. I promise to love you unconditionally and provide you with all the support that a wife could ever ask. I promise to forever share our smiles, our laughs, and our cries. And most importantly, I promise to love you forever. I want to kiss you. Can we kiss you? <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs>
that it is an endearing value that is almost infinite uh, in its concept. At a certain point, you come to understand that it is infinite. And then the two of you join together in a relationship that you probably never ever thought you'd be involved in. It's something so intimate, something so precious, uh, something that unites you to, to all things that are and everything that is. We're talking about eternal values. We're talking about something not only spiritual but also mystical. And I would like to read an opening prayer, if I might, um, to begin the ceremony, the introduction, uh, from uh, the Book of Common Prayer. The classic words, Dearly beloved, Heather and James, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God in creation and our Lord Jesus Christ. Adorned this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at the wedding of Cana in Galilee. It signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and his church and Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given each other in prosperity, adversity, and when it is God's will for the procreation of children and their nurture in the knowledge and love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Amen. Thank you. Just uh, another reading, if I might, from 1 Corinthians, another classic, the concept of love. Sorry. Yes. She's not laughing. 1 Corinthians, chapter 13, the gift of love. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and I have all faith so as to remove mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possession, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude does not insist on its own way, it is not irritable or resentful, it does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, nurtures all things. Love never ends, but as for prophecies, they will come to an end, as for tongues, they will come to an end also. But in love, love that never ends, it is all encompassing. Your journey together today is a testimony, a living testimony, that love conquers all. I don't know what kind of obstacles you had to overcome, if any, to be here today, but love does conquer all. It's an old saying. It's very true for me. Heather, will you take this man to be your husband? I do. To live <laughs> together with Too him? Too soon. Too soon, sorry. Heather, will you take this man to be your husband? <laughs> to live together, to live together with him, to give live together with him in the covenant of marriage. Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful unto him as long as you both shall live? I do. Sickness. <laughs> and uh, there's, there's more. Now, uh, James, will you have this woman, will you take Heather, to be your wife, to live together with her in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, be faithful unto her as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> would you take Heather's right hand, please? And would you pull your vows out? Oh. 
to get I have to I have to uh, read them with my right hand. No, 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 just drop hand. Just one take her hand. I can do it. Uh Heather? I've been in love with you since the moment we met. I love you more and more every day. Needless to say, I cannot spend the rest, I cannot wait to spend the rest of our lives together. You are the most beautiful in my eyes. Please know that you will remain that way. We've shared so many laughs and so many smiles in our time together and it has only just begun. I cannot wait for you to be my wife. <laughs> <laughs> You're gorgeous. I love everything about you. You can do no wrong. <laughs> Heather, from this day forward, I promise to continue to be your best friend. I promise to love you unconditionally and provide you with all the support that a wife could ever ask. I promise to forever share our smiles, our laughs, and our cries. I promise to continue taking great adventures with you, much like this very one we're on today. <laughs> I promise to show patience when you might be running late. Might be running late. Never. <laughs> and most importantly, I promise to love you forever. I want to kiss you. Can we kiss you? <laughs> well, not yet. If you want to. No, it's not fun. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Yes, sir. Very well, very well said. And Heather, do uh, you have something you'd like to say in terms of your vows you. to James? Can I hold your hand? Yeah, yes, please. Yes. Sorry. Uh, it might be sweaty. <laughs> I'm so incredibly thankful to stand here in front of such a love loving, genuine, and thoughtful man and little slice of paradise. I'm more in love with you now than I realized on the first day. Being with you has brought me so many amazing things in my life I didn't even know were missing. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> you make me cry. I know. Don't cry. I just really wanted to fan myself. <laughs> You're our true blessing from God. Just looking at you makes me smile. You make everything better. You're my best friend. But I also know that our relationship is not going to be perfect. <laughs> but you'll always be the most important part of my life. All I want is to love you for the rest of my life, to grow old with you, and one day have mini babies. <laughs> <laughs> mini. M grandchildren. Mini babies. Grandchildren. <laughs> 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 oh. Was that important? Oh, got it. Okay. Got it. I promised to you from this day forward to encourage you with my words, to respect you and cherish you. I promise to pray for you every day. I promise to be worthy of your trust and deserving of your confidence. I will try my hardest to mimic God's grace and give you unconditional love. I promise to dream with you, to celebrate with you, and to walk through whatever our lives may bring. Um, I have a cheat sheet. Fino al morta de de parte de no. I have no idea if I said that. <laughs> yes. Till uh, death do us part. You know what the... Can you say it correctly for me? Let me see what you wrote. Right here. Yeah. Fino alla morte che... Non mi si va. Non mi si va. Non mi si va. Grazie. Non mi si va. Can you say it for me? No. Fino alla morte... Non vi separe. Non vi separe. Non vi separe. Fino della morte non vi separe. Ci sei. Grazie. Bravo. I couldn't read it, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, no, no, it's fine. Fino della morte. Positano, the Amalfi Coast, the Gulf of Salerno, the Gulf of Naples on the other side, has witnessed, has 
witnessed over the millennia, not the centuries, the millennia. If we only go back 4,000 years, we're talking about Phoenicians, and we talk about Greeks, and we talk about Romans, and we talk about other cultures that have come into this magic land for a specific reason, in spite of its strategic importance, because of its great beauty. And that beauty engendered and created and fostered and love among peoples. And you are witnessing that yourself today. So you are very much a part of the history of the Amalfi Coast as a result of your superb choice of wanting to come. I give you this ring. A symbol of my love. It's a symbol of my love? Affection. Affection. And respect. And respect. Now. Now. <laughs> because you want to be <laughs> for my love and for you. <laughs> Heather, ready for this? <laughs> no, bling, bling. I think it's going to go right on. Yeah. <laughs> I give you this ring, James. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. Affection. Affection. And respect. And respect. Now. Now. And always. And always. Squeeze it on there. <laughs> 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 Now that James and Heather have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> A concluding prayer. Bless you both, now and forever. Ti do adesso questa benedizione che sarai per sempre innamorati, gioiosi, felici e che ritorni a Positano ogni anno per celebrare il tuo matrimonio. Va bene? Bueno, how do you want to kiss? You kiss. I won't translate.